Welcome, Winnemucca, to the Winnemucca Insiders Football Challenge, week number 13. As you can see behind us, we have some of our festive lights here in our banquet room as we're decorating for the Christmas holidays here. I'm Gary Horky. I got my partner in crime at the end there, Mr. David Barwicky. And then in the center, well, he's a little under right now. Mr. Terry Boyle is... Well, you had some surgery there. Yeah, I'm yeah, still conscious, just a little, 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 <laughs> little numb on one side. Not good, not good. So, uh, if you're up to it, yeah, I might as well. So, uh, from last week, uh, Gary, you got seven, I got seven, Dave got five. Kind of a home hub week. Uh, a little bit better than 50% collectively. You were right on your Ohio State. Uh, me and Dave were both wrong. Dave chose that as his best bet. So yeah, that's a down. limit. Wait a minute, I thought you took Boise State as your best bet. I'm going over last week. Oh. Last, who was your best bet last week? My best bet was Seattle, so I haven't got that far yet. You're, you're cutting me off here. What the, oh. <laughs> so I'm just starting here at the top. You know, Dave's best bet was Michigan. Mine was Seattle. Yours is, of course, Ohio State. Uh, so we had two or three on our best bets. Yes, that's what I like to hear. And so we're on to week 13, hard to believe. Yeah, so in this segment, we got the first three uh, college games. They're all bowl championship, I mean, not bowl, conference championship games, folks. And... And I got a text from Davey, Terry. He says, I can't believe you didn't put the Ohio State Buckeyes no, on I there. I can't believe it. I would have bet anything on that. Are they a Saturday game? Yeah. Because, see, there's some Friday games, so we had to choose from what was only. No, they were a Friday. Saturday game, but I figured everybody figured I was a homer. So I, but I, I think I picked the good ones. Okay. So, go ahead. Fine. Not They're bad. Good. So we've got the top-ranked teams here, the, you know, a game of big interest nationally. Alabama is going to Georgia. Georgia is 11-1 on the season, sitting currently at number four. Uh, Alabama is 12-0, currently sitting at number one. I think they've been at number one all season. All of last season, too, mostly. Yeah. So anyways, big game. Alabama's laying 13 and a half at Georgia. Seems like a lot of points normally, but, boy, Alabama, especially when it comes to a big game, it seems like they get up for them. Well, that left-handed quarterback is fantastic. He is a spot-on thrower. He's, he's not a big runner, but he runs when he has to. And I think that's what makes Alabama so doggone tough to defend. Jake Fromm has actually looked pretty good the last few weeks for Georgia. They what did they score? 52 you points know, last week? 62 points last week? It was a huge uh, huge win over Georgia. But it's 13 and a half points, Terry. Which way are you going? You know, I'm going to go with Alabama just because they seem to get up for these big games. I'd actually love to see Georgia upset them. I think anybody, I think you'd love to see them upset them because you're sitting out there. Uh, no, I actually, I'd like to see Alabama beat Georgia because they'll drop below Ohio State. And then my, my dream is Ohio State kicks Northwestern's butt, Oklahoma struggles with Texas, and bam, we're in the fourth position. Let's see. A lot can happen this week. So anyways, I'm taking Alabama. Dave, which way are you going to go? Here? I'll tell you what. I'm not impressed with Georgia. I never thought they belong even in the top ten, yet alone in the top four. I don't like them. I'll take Alabama. That two other quarterback for Alabama could strike. He's good. I'll take Alabama all day. He is good, and they got a great defense. But just because you guys went with the Crimson Tide, I got to go the opposite way. I'm going to take the Georgia Bulldogs and the points in this one. And, you know, I remember a few weeks ago, you guys, when we got pummeled, we, the Ohio State Buckeyes, by Purdue, you guys said there was no way we're going to make the playoffs. But it's we're looking a, right at it. Central Florida is overlooked. I, I, they were well, undefeated for the last two years. Yeah, but the problem is their quarterback's out. Still, how does the AP overlook them? Yeah. Strength of schedule. One of these days, they're going to have to go to eight teams. They've got to play one more week. I, I totally to agree with you. I'm sorry, but Central Florida should be in here. I, so. I, I agree. Um, they're not on the contest. So it's next game on the contest <laughs> is Fresno State going to Boise State. Both teams are 10-2 and two on the season. Boise State's come around here lately, moving up to the rank of 23rd. They're at home and a two-and-a-half-point two favorite. I jump right out here. I think Boise State's playing great. I'm taking Boise State to, to win, and I don't mind laying the two-and-a-half. Yeah, I, I, you know what, the, the Mountain West Conference uh, Championship game, this is going to be a good one. Uh, we've actually had uh, four good teams in the league this year, including these two, Fresno and Boise, plus you had Utah State and San Diego State. So you had a really balanced league. And then Hawaii that also uh, got over six wins. So, But Boise State, Brett Rippon playing very good. Of course, he's got that, that gene in him, you know, from his uncle Mark Rippon. So I like Boise State in this one. Yeah, Looks like we're going to be lopsided, guys, because I love Boise State in this one. I, end of story. I love Boise State. At okay. home, especially okay. in a championship game, forget about it. All three of us on the same game right out of the gate here. How did, did, were, were we on one last week? So we all believed in – I'm just looking for that. We all believed in the Seahawks, so we did get it right. Okay. Yay. Yay, us. <laughs> okay. 
Um, last college game, we've got uh, Texas at Oklahoma, another big uh, game with national championship implications here. Of course, Oklahoma's hoping the same thing Ohio State is. they got to win convincingly over Texas, and then uh, hope uh, Alabama beats Georgia and they get into that four slot. Do you know, Terry, this is the first time that they've ever had a rematch in the same season between all the years that Texas and Oklahoma have played each other. First time it's ever happened. And Texas put it on them earlier this year in Texas. Guess what? This game's in Arlington, Texas again. So You're taking Texas. I'm taking Texas because I need them to beat Oklahoma. <laughs> the records, by the way, 9-3 and three for Texas, 10-1. and one. Or eleven and one for Oklahoma. Yeah, I had already marked mine on Texas. I just think the seven and a half they're going to make this a close game. Not sure they'll win, but I think they're going to be in this game. Yeah. How about you, Davey? I got to agree with Terry. They beat them the first time they played. I just, okay. Thing that separates this game for me: Texas has a defense. Oklahoma don't. They were like watching flag football. I watched them play West so Virginia. So true. Right? That's horrible. I'll oh, take what Texas. What was the final score last week? Fifty-six to fifty-three or yeah. something. Like that? Yeah. I mean, no one could tackle. They just went over passes wide open. <laughs> It was Sandlot football. So here we are, all three on two out of the first three games. So we're all on uh, Boise State. We're all on Texas. Well, it is championship time. So all right. So we're uh, already we're in trouble, folks. So that's going to uh, finish up segment number one. When we come back, the first four pro games on our sheet.